When I was young, I was lucky. My father, who saved Dr. Martin Luther King's life in 1958 when he got stabbed, he expertly removed two ribs from the side to take the knife out of the, the crazy person that uh, stabbed Dr. King. From that, uh, my father also saved the secretary of Ned Irish, who ran the Knicks, so I became Nick Ballboy. So basketball was always in my blood. And I ended up getting the job here in 1981 after three or four years, as an, five years as an assistant. My first year, we were abysmal. We were one in 21. And I went to every clinic. I watched every tape. Learned all about psychology and coaching. Did everything I can. And losing three kids and having the same kids back, adding one, we went 22 and four the following year. And ever since then, God bless, it's been great. He's crazy, man. <laughs> he just loves to yell a lot, and me being young, I couldn't handle with it right away. So it took me a while to adjust to him, and we really like on the same page now as far as coach and player relationship. I was so scared of him. I didn't, I didn't know how to talk to him. When he used to ask me questions in the eighth grade, I didn't know how to answer the questions. I was stuttering and all that. I stood the test of time, and I know when now to raise my voice. You know, like Tony the Tiger. So what the play? They was not doing that. So they take it to the other side and say things to people where they feel I'm abrasive, but it'll get them to cut the crap. Oh! It means a lot because of the history and all he's been through. He's, he's like a legend. Like, it feels good to be playing with him and actually starting, and he's helping me get where I gotta go. I learned the most of him, always to play hard and just stay on top of my stuff, whether it be at school or basketball, just take care of business and just everything, don't, don't half-ass anything, just 100% all the time. We're supposed to be the king of queens and if you play your 14 league games and your three borough championship games, which is 17 and you don't have a zero at the end, people are saying, how, how did it happen? How'd you, how'd you go 16 and 1, 15 and 2? People only remember the one loss, not the, the greatness of the record. And winning the city championship in 1999 was, was a feat because to, to see that buzzer go off at Madison Square Garden and win and know that you're the champions of New York City, the biggest city in the world, the mecca of basketball, uh, it was something that no matter what happens from now until the end of my coaching career, they can never take away.